Okay, we created our terrains. Remember, click and save your work. Just be sure it's always saved. Uh, maybe right in this area, I want to create a rock right there. Something big formation, some rocks that may um, kind of hanging over the water. Instead, using 3D sculpting tool, which has created a lot of polygons, we'll just use it a simple meta blob and we'll use it different rocks if we need it for that. So we can have it three choices. We can create a rocks and just place the rock stop on other ones. But let's do this way. Let's go create a just a simple sphere. Okay, we'll just take put sphere around here. I'll squish so it's almost look like a pebble one. Same alt or option, left click and drag, so we duplicate it. Okay, we can increase a little bit in size. Put it maybe around there. Same alt again, alt or options. Create another one. We'll put there and we'll do one more. In this case, I actually want stretch, rotate, and put it maybe around that area. So overall, it's kind of you can see the sticking run. So this way, um, maybe we even put it a little bit lower, maybe. They kind of start overhanging our water. So I'll just create kind of a nice look. Next, we'll go select all of the spheres and we'll go click on a create meta blob. So left click and you can see it's created very interesting. Don't worry too much about texturing. We'll work on that a little bit later. Okay, same. Let's do this. So let's create new layer and we'll call this um, middle. So for our middle ground. And I want to take all of this and drag and place it in our layer. So we know now we can work specifically on those areas. Okay, so we created the rough layout. Look on this, our mountains on the background. We kind of start losing them. Okay, let's go back to our mountains and we can always or just leave them up. Notice the edges, we just want to bring them up. Or we also can take on the top and just scale them slightly, leave it up. So increase scale so mountains get a little bit sharper, but we also see them on a background a little bit more. Of course, we can extend and go to individuals, individual mountain and increase size if we need it specifically just for that mountain. Okay. So in this case, maybe a little bit too sharp, take it down. So I just want to see it for now. But again, we'll come back to those mountains when we start texturing them and when we start putting ecosystem because the plants will cover some of the some of them and we want to see those mountains on the back. So we'll come back to this. Okay. Um, right here we have our background in our cube. You know what? Let's change the material for this. And I'm just putting blue. Okay, right there. So we can see positioning. And I can just maybe slightly decreasing. Now I do like how this area was come up. So let's go back to this area. So right there. I like this element. And of course, remember, if you need a change, we can go inside, open for edit our material. Look right here. And we can modify some of those elements inside here. So we can paint, we can invert, so we can increase on this area. Okay, let's go to reduce radius right now. Okay, so if I need it, I can go right this area and just make it taller. Okay, so it's stick out of the water a little bit better. Okay, kind of creating this a little bit more edge. Okay, this way also with small, we can easy just go and create even some rocks almost formation on the middle of the water. So it's creating right there. Okay, let's go click OK. And we can see right there we start having this water. Let's go preview. And so far you can see we have it rough layout with the overhanging. Maybe this one will scale slightly down. We'll see how it will go. But overall, 
we have a very rough shape with a water setup and a mountains. Uh, mountains again, they may be a little bit high, we'll see on this. So let's go ahead and start applying some of the texturing to our uh, landscape. So for this, we'll start with our meta blob. An easy way to do it is actually take material that you already like it and place it. For example, I found out if we, okay, we're in the middle, so we'll go to the rocks. And for example, I look around and it says which type of the rock I like it. So we have it kind of magn this uh, type of magma rock. It will place it. Terra rock. So we can go bring closer to our camera for now. Just almost laying around. Let's increase in size. And I want to actually re-enter and preview this rock. So this is look very interesting texture. I think we're going with this as a base for now. Okay, I'm going to double time click on this my uh, material and I don't like it how it was um, highlights. So actually I want to take highlights and make them dual. So I want to reduce some of the highlights on this. And brightness, notice it is brightness going with the texturing so we can modify if you need it. But I want to edit brightness color and set a little bit to darker. So not as bright, a little bit more dual kind of look. Okay, so we modify material. Let's go click OK. Next, what I'm going to do is right click and select copy this material I wanted. So next on Meta Blob, right click and paste. So now we have the same material applied to our kind of overhanging rocks this way so it's what i wanted okay let's make it a little bit smaller i think it's stick a little bit too far okay we also notice some shape still be there we want to add displacement so we can go inside and just enable a little bit on displacement on this rock and pop up higher however um it does not have any bump map so it, um let's go to edit this function uh, we do have some bumps applied, but not as high. So maybe just open and let's look if we can find better bump map from collections what we have. So right there we have it a little bit more interesting. Let's go displacement 5, 5, 5. Increase in size and displacement will do um, preview on our so we'll see the one thing if it's rock too big and displacement is low but right here we can see the displacement start working on this maybe increase size of displacement so it's give it us nice roughing um, rough details so we'll go there and displacement let's put it 10 10 10 so we're increasing size of the displacement okay we'll go click OK render one more time and right there you can see we have a little bit better shape I think at this point again this is basic because we'll put it some stuff around and you know what let's go to just decrease a couple things in this area so I'm going to decrease, decrease depth to the 10 okay we'll go leave it like this okay next things we're also going to do to some of this it's add additional rocks so for example if you don't like how it's look you can always create additional rocks just drag them and place it around here notice how big was a rock before but right here it's a little bit smaller so we can actually take this rock and embed it inside so it's creating more of this look okay we'll get Just rework a little bit here and let's put this on the edge and again I'm just using alt or option and I'm just creating this rock changing a little bit sizes positioning and placing on the edges so in some it just will create this kind of interesting edge look right there you can see so now we have it kind of more defined look for our rock something that eyes can catch on that okay um, let's go in our next tutorial continue to working with our um, 
to arrange our materials that we're going to apply.